Welcome back to United Tradesman Academy. All right, guys, so good morning to everybody. First, let me say thank y'all to everybody who got this channel to over 3K subscribers, man. We need to do a giveaway on this channel. Man, y'all some awesome subscribers. Thank y'all for people that's been interested in learning, asking questions, and for people that's also, you know, teaching me things because there's some things that I do in the video where um, I need to be corrected on. So thank y'all for those who giving me those ideas. Well, I didn't think about it that way. Well, let me try this one, let me try that. All right, so look, so today's video, we got to do a panel change, but I'm just going over the things that you need to look out for before you do the panel change. So let's, let's take a look at a few things here. All right, so see the panel right there, the meter base, the conduit, rise of conduit that's going up. Then you have the branch circuits that are coming down through this two inch conduit right here, going right there into the side. Then you got a few small conduits that are that are going out and going down. Sorry about the shakiness of the camera. I'm not using my uh, my GoPro. Batteries are freaking low right now. So, okay. So first thing when you look at, we need to look at the size of the service. It says 100 amp on there. So now they have number four wire coming from the meter base here. But as you can see, that small panel, 100 amp panel, um, it's almost about filled up. So I'm gonna put a 150 amp panel in here. Now, well, how do I know if I can put a 150 amp panel here? So one of the main things you need to look at, you need to look at, you need to look inside of there at that meter label and it should say 150 amps back over in there. So you need to look at the maximum size rating of your meter base. Some of them are 100, some of them are 125, some of them are 150, some of them are 200. So if you wanna put a 200 amp meter, I'm sorry, but if you wanna put a 200 amp, so here's the thing, if you wanna put a 200 amp panel, but you only have a 150 amp meter base, you can't put a 200 amp panel. You have to upsize the meter base. So if you want a 200 amp panel, you need to put a 200 amp meter base. So the next thing, let's go to, well not really the next thing, but let's, let's go back to the wire size. So that wire size right there, that's feeding this panel, it's number four. Number four is not good for 150 amps. So we know we need to upsize that wire. We need to upsize the wire coming from the meter into the panel, and then we need to upsize the wire coming from the top of the, the line side of the meter going up to the pole so we we know we're gonna have to use one odd cable for 150 amps so next thing you need to be mindful of when you want to do that we want to go to a next size up panel from a 100 to 150 you need to be mindful of the size of the conduit you have right here because um, a small a smaller conduit like a one inch or inch and a half you will have trouble, or maybe even an inch and a quarter, you will have trouble trying to get three one knots down into an inch and a quarter pipe. Now, you'll be fine with these little number fours, you know, but if, like I said, if you're trying to upgrade to a um, 150 amp service, then your panel, I'm sorry, your, uh, your service conduit is gonna be too small, so you need to look at factoring the size of uh, upgrading that, uh, service riser can do it right there next thing you want to be mindful of is the grounding so i only see right now well okay i see another ground so here's one ground right here it's going down to uh it's going down to a ground bar right down in there that's it right there so we have that and the next ground you want to look for is your cold water ground which I see it right back up in there is going into the house right down there in the corner right there. So that should be going over to the uh, to the hot water heater. So you wanna look for grounding. Now, the next thing you wanna look at is how many breakers that you have in here. You wanna get a good count of how many breakers that you have. The 30 amp double pole breakers like this. Um, of course you got your 100 amp main breaker in here. You got another 
uh, I'm not sure what that is on there. Can't see what it says, but it's probably gonna be a f maybe like a 30 or 40, depending on judging by the wire size right there. So you wanna see, you got the little 20 amps right here. Now these are tandems. So they're actually two breakers that can fit in one breaker space. So you gotta be mindful of when you count these type of breakers because if you get a panel that's too small and you have <clears throat> you have multiple um, 20 amp breakers like this that are tandem style, you see there's another one right there that are tandem style, that's four breakers. One, two, three, four. So that's one thing you gotta be mindful of also. Now, next thing you need to be mindful of is your branch circuits that are coming inside of this box right here. Your branch circuits that are coming inside the box. When you make, when you remove a panel off the wall and you put a new one in its place, a lot of time, those existing branch circuits will not be long enough to go to your new breakers, your new breaker locations. So a lot of times you have to put um, some splices on here to make it go to the new breakers. So that's one thing you have to factor in too. Now, let's look up here. You see how they had that LB going? Let me see. You see how they had that LB going right in there, right there? Well, that won't pass cold. How are you gonna get that cover off without tearing all that stuff up? So we're gonna remove that and just put one straight piece of PVC going straight up into there. So we're gonna take this pipe out. We're gonna take all this out, take all that out, and we're gonna put a, a PVC elbow right here and a straight two inch PVC pipe going straight up into there. And now this right here, this is going up, uh, things are gonna be going over here to, things are gonna be going right here to this breaker right here, which looked like it served the AC unit out here at one time. So we're gonna, we need to put that inside of a box. See those wires just sticking out right there? And that breaker is in all position too. The breaker is in all position. So this PVC pipe is fine, but this flex, it's not rated to be outside exposed. It's rated to be inside the wall. So we got to take this completely off of here and put a box and put those wires inside of a box. So when you're doing a panel job, you just can't look at um, just, just the panel, just replacing the panel, especially if you're getting an inspection. Because everything that you're doing, everything that's associated with your work has to be brought up to code. Um, things like this. You expect to say, hey, let's take this off the wall. You know, it's hanging. Let's take that off the wall or I can just re-screw it back up there. That, that timer there. And you see this GFCI right here? It's another code violation. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a, um, uh, it's not protected against the weather. So it doesn't, it doesn't have a weatherproof cover. It's just open to the elements. So that's one thing that'll fail the inspection also. So yeah. Last but not least, up there, when I'm putting in, in that, that, when I'm putting in the new one out cable from the meter going up the pole, I need to call my service provider and tell them I need a temporary disconnect and they'll come out and disconnect those wires so I can safely remove those wires and put my new wires from the meter base. I can push them up, up there, put them in there correctly. Then when I pass my electrical inspection, they'll come back out and uh, re-hook those new wires up, those larger size wires. All right guys, so I don't wanna make this video too long so this is what we got to do uh, on this next job here. So hopefully I can get some good footage. Like I said, my, my batteries on the GoPro, those uh, lithium batteries, they did not work very well in the cold weather. So I'm filming this on my phone. That's why maybe it may look a little shaky. I'm sorry about that. But hey guys, look, we'll see y'all next time back at United Tradesman Academy.